of the projects that you worked with Rick on was a thriller. Yes. And maybe some of the people out here that don't know that you actually ended up on camera. Why don't you tell us a little bit about that? Uh, that was funny. I got to just do a makeup for myself. I sculpted and everything, and Charlie Schramm applied it, which was really, See, that really must have cool. Been oh, that was incredible. That was so exciting. He applied it, and then uh, it's one of those things where I had contact lenses, big black ones with little tiny pinholes, and uh, for the scene when the pop dancers are going out, John Plantis said that you have to hit this mark, the camera's right there really close, the lights, you have to hit it. And they said, action, fog, and this fog came in. And I'm like... Where's your mark? And they're going out and I just tried to turn and they, he's screaming at me. Why did you hit the mark? I go, I can see the... Mm. So, the, oh. For the benefit so then of they, the younger people in the audience, <laughs> Charlie Shram was a, he worked on the, the Wizard of Oz and he worked under Jack Don at MGM. And he's a you know one of kind of the great legendary makeup artist that just just passed recently. Yeah, yeah, great makeup artist. But in Thriller, uh, it was funny because everybody else was in it, uh, all of his uh, artists from his shop, and they were all like, when Thriller came out, they were watching it, and they were like watching it, and they all had bid parts in it, and they're going, "Where's Greg? Oh crap, he didn't get a part," you know. And and then I'm at the very end. I turn, they freeze on me while he laughs, Vincent Price. I got this great, you know, for the very ending, and they're all like, we're pissed off, because I got a better. <laughs> <laughs> you got the close-up. Great close-up, so. 